Well, it's a holiday season. Let's take a look how you can use S Present to create e cards and send those e cards to anybody pretty much. Or you can publish them on, on your website if you want to. So, when the, show, the first screen shows up, you just go and open the existing presentation and you go to the f uh, folder shared to me, public and e cards folder. There's a couple templates there for presentation. So, let's just open this one. It already shows some animation and already says Happy New Year and um, like everybody will have New Year I assume so that's Happy New Year built animation just one simple one slide so let's just take this template and um, create an e-card or e-presentation let's insert another slide and this will be like a title for our presentation so it will be the title for your e-card so basically we're creating like multi-page e-card Let's uh, type something like my family here, or you can put your name. Uh, it depends um, what kind of photos you want to put there, uh, because we'll be adding photos. And uh, let's just create like a title for this e-card, and let's call it 2006 was a year of dog. And it's like in the uh, Asian calendars, it was the year of dog. So let's just change the color to something more like holiday looking and we can also change the font size if you want to make this title uh, look a little bit bigger okay so let's just uh, do that that should be good enough uh, now let's move the slide up it was a second slide when you insert the slide it's automatically inserted after the current slide so let's just drag the tab up and now it's a slide number one so what we're gonna do next we're gonna drag the from right panel web image just right on the slide and we'll click on the button browse Flickr photos it will open the browser of photos from Flickr and automatically this um, screen we remembers the last search that you did on Flickr so you see in the right upper corner it shows dog so already went and look in the pictures of dog and uh, dogs and um, drag some of those to the left corner over here so there's like a, a set of different uh, dogs uh, the picture that I kind of like so you can also save that set late if you just uh, type on this album flower right now just call it dog or whatever and click on the plus button it will save it for later so you can always keep the set that you like so what we're going to do now you can insert all these photos into your presentation let me just move this a little bit Okay, you can see you can insert one per slide or two photos per slide or more. So I choose two per slide and I click on the button Add to the presentation. You see this arrow indicates it goes back into the uh, presentation. So now you see how many slides you have. So we have a title slide and we have three more slides besides the slide number five. And those are photos from Flickr. And you see right under the photo, we automatically import the uh, text the, the names for those photos that were assigned uh, by the authors of those photos so you can choose the photos you like and you will, will automatically get the the text but you can edit the text if you want to so that's no problem at all so now we have a simple presentation let's just duplicate the first slide right now so I just click on the first slide click duplicate and now I'm gonna move the slide number two which is a, a copy of the first slide and I'll put it right before the last slide what can I do what I can do now I'm just gonna say 2007 will be a year of basically next year will be not a year of dog it will be a year of pig it's actually so it's another animal um, and um, so this will be like a, so we just we finish in 2006 year we're moving 2007 and let me just remove this um, subtitle because I just don't need it anymore so this will be AFP and um, that is the simple uh, presentation I'm trying to save it back but it would not let me because I opened the presentation from a public folder and of course it's read only so what I need to do is just click on the file save as and click on my folders over here and just type some name for this presentation uh, so I can uh, use it later or reuse it later if I want to so we basically we open the template we modified it with some photos and now we're gonna save it uh, on the server so I can use it later if I want to 
uh, and of course you can use the same scenario for uh, for any kinds of photo I'm just showing it as a dog and you can use anything else let's click on the send to email so right now we're gonna take this uh, uh, presentation take this e-card and send it via email of course you can also embed it into your website or create a standalone HTML uh, page out of it okay uh, click on send email and automatically remembers the last email I sent it to so I click OK and now it, it receives email in the Gmail uh, there's a, a little thing that that need to know uh, there's a few two options view and download view actually strips out some code that kind of it's like a should be called preview uh, just click on the download because download will actually give you a complete file and you just can choose open I'm in the Firefox right now but you can do the same thing in any browser and when uh, you click open Firefox shows this download screen um, that's all you have to do it will open the default browser you have and it will play the presentation right in that um, right in that uh, browser you don't really have to do anything special so when you send it to anybody it will play the presentation uh, right away and it can be on any platform Linux Windows uh, or Macintosh and here's the presentation you can see all these um, dogs and uh, you can go to the next slide or the previous slide and um, these are all funny dogs that people have um, that's it that's that's gonna be a slideshow so this will be the uh, the, the closing slide for for that and it'll be a happy new year slide okay of course and it's playing a little bit slow because I'm recording this right now and uh, the computer has too too much to do right now with the graphics so uh, let's just wait a little bit so we'll see how it looks and of course you can this this, this is the template you can draw anything on the slide you can add more photos to this slide if you want to okay happy new year so this is this again this is the from the email there's no installation you just send it to anybody and then uh, as present shows of course on the last slide shows the okay this is the s present it was created with s present but this is the new it was just edited like this week it automatically shows the credits the sources that you used in the presentation and it shows the links to those sources um, uh, it was just released like this week and the reason for that is because some of the professional photographers publish their work on the web including Flickr to promote what what they do to promote their work uh, and this is highly done uh, highly high quality professional photos so uh, as present now will automatically give credit to everybody if you use a present if you use any resources videos or JPEGs of the web this present will list on the last page the credits to those sources so you don't have to do it. you don't have to worry about this uh, you can use any picture of the web as present will automatically shows will automatically show the link back to that page so I think it's 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 good for everybody it's good for people who publish their so, uh, photos or work or videos um, or will add mp3 soon and uh, uh, so flash files and this present will just give them automatically credit it's kind of a um, creative common creative commons license model basically you can use anything but just make sure you show the link back to the source so that's it that's uh, how present works right now and um, happy holidays and um, just go ahead and start sending e-cards e to anybody